Well, this Innovation Summit is all about getting your products out there and showing the world what you've invented. Some of the big companies are here, but also some young, bright minds have brought their products and they're hoping to get some financial help as well. Let's go and have a look. Well, this is a life jacket that was invented by 17-year-old Danielle Malabone. Inside the life jacket, a pouch full of chemicals. They heat up when they get in touch with water. Now, Danielle, you've experimented with this. You've jumped into a very cold swimming pool. Tell me what happened. Okay, so the water was eight degrees Celsius, and without the life jacket, uh, within the first five minutes, my body temperature decreased to 34.5 degrees Celsius, which is the start of hypothermia. And then when you put the jacket on, Yes, uh, for a solid hour it remained above 36 degrees Celsius, which is at a stable point. And you've survived? Yes. <laughs> well, we're having a bit of a cook-up here. Of course, Africa, blessed by sunshine. Why on earth isn't the power of the sun used more? Well, these solar cookers are uh, a recent invention. They're trying to get funding and improve the design. The problem at the moment is the, the start-up cost. This costs over $300 for this solar cooker. Well, we've just met Kenneth Meir here, who's invented a mobile phone that has a sensor on it so if somebody breaks into your car or into your home it'll instantly send a message from that mobile phone to your own handset alerting you that there's an intruder now Kenneth you've now managed to get a prototype made by a company but I guess your challenge is now funding yes um, I did able to find a company that did able to develop my cell phone based on my invention all of the work is done now, they're ready to start the assembly, but I need to pay them for all the work that they've done for research and development. And how much money do you need? Uh, it's 5.9 million rand. That's only half a million US dollars. Yeah, so that we can take the phone straight into the market. Well, not all the products on display here were invented in Africa. Here we've got some artificial limbs, some prosthetic limbs. The actual technology for the latest ones um, comes from Sweden, but Michael Stevens, who's here in South Africa, he's helping make the technology available so you can have your limb molded in hours. Exactly, 45 minutes and we can have a socket ready so a person who hasn't walked before, we can get them in, sit them down, get this working. 45 minutes later we have a socket and we can build their leg thereafter. Within an hour we have them walking.